37 mils overnight. I can hear the creeks raging from here. Good morning everybody, welcome back to Kiwi Farmer. While I've got you here, I never do this at the start of the video, but uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already, and then like the video, it'll uh, help us bump up through the YouTube recommendations. Um, yeah, so today we had 30 something mils of rain last night, so she's pretty wet, everything's fed, all the animals are pretty good, so we're just gonna do some firewood at the moment, prepping for winter, so. What we've got here, a couple of chainsaws, um, old still MS660, she's a beast. So just a 20 inch bar on here at the moment, also got a 32 inch bar that I can put on there as well, so, which is great for some of those bigger bigger logs over there. And then this wee thing, the chainsaw I actually grew up with, used to be my dad's, he gave it to me, so it's uh, still 034. And then just got an 18 inch bar on there. That's awesome just for just uh, some small stuff and um, yeah, cutting scrub off fences and um, thinning pine trees, things like that. Awesome we saw, so it's done a lot of work, but uh, yeah, replaced some parts and it's, it goes well. So we just rung, runged up this, I'll throw some more smaller bits here on the trailer and then uh, we'll shoot home and grab the tractor and split some of this bigger stuff down here. But um, yeah, while I'm down here, I might as well go and check the lambs on the raft now. And uh, well, this is the this is the regrowth of the raft now. So it's actually coming away really good. So this has been grazed once before, and then this is all the stuff that's growing. So it's the beauty with this crop, as it grows, regrows really well. So uh, yeah, once we throw some rings on here, we'll dump the trailer and go down and just check those lambs down there, and make sure that they've still got plenty of feed. So down here in the raft now, this is the break they've just grazed. They've only been on here a couple of days, but we're due to uh, wage draft these lambs, so we'll shift it. And then um, even if we've got to come back and just chew out some some more of the stalk, because that's really too high. It needs to be probably half that, half that down here at least. So um, we'll whip this fence down and uh, yeah, let these lambs onto this last part of this break. Oh, we'll have a good munch in there, and then, uh, yeah, we'll weigh draft them uh, in the next few days, hopefully when things dry out. Right, so there you go, all wound up. We'll um, drive around these lambs, chase them this way, and uh, yeah, they can have a good munch on that. So they finished off their hay uh, last night in the feeder just there. Um, so we're gonna come back to the tractor with another hay bale and throw that on there. Always make sure they've got hay just to try and balance out the diet with this really lush uh, leaf, the raffna and they, they go through it pretty quick too. Probably a bale every four days, these 600 odd lambs. So we'll uh, give them a bit of a hurry along down here so they know where the feed is. And then, um, yeah, we'll go back to our wood splitting. Lambs got into the ref now and they love it. So I've got the wood splitter here now, and uh, so this is not ours, we borrowed it off a neighbour, did a bit of a deal, so he borrowed it off one of his mates, but he borrowed our tractor to run the wood splitter, 
for a weekend so then yeah we just got a, got the wood splitter for a wee bit just to repay the favour so that's quite good double split never used one that uh, can split both ways so yeah split that way and that way and then you can lower it down to low put your big pieces of wood on so it works quite well but we'll uh, yeah just try a time lapse on and get into this Done a wee bit there, but it's lunch time, so I'm just gonna grab this uh, bale, hay bale, hay lodge or whatever. Uh, it's kind of moist hay, so they wrapped it um, and throw it into these lambs down the rafno here. And we're we'll going to have some lunch. We've got a wee bit done. I'm just going to call it quits for today. I've got a couple other jobs to do this afternoon. And uh, yeah, so we'll uh, go and have a cover and then crack on with those other ones. So, one of the last jobs I had to do today was um, this is the track that we built yesterday before the rain. So, um, come up the side of the creek here and you come up to this point where there's water coming off the hill here and then the creek so then we put a six meter culvert in here then it just continues up around the bend but um i just wanted to bring about another two and a half meter culvert section i had and join it up just to make it a bit longer because uh hopefully the skitter can get around here and i just might need as much room as possible so when this dries out we'll reef shape it all clear out the creek um take that tree there out take that bank off that corner off so there's a pretty much a nice swing around um, through there yeah and then contour it all put a drain in and then the plan is once um, once the logging's finished that this will be a we'll continue this track all the way up to the top of the hill and this will be a, a horse track because um, currently the track that they use to get up the top of the hill is pretty rocky pretty sharp um, yeah, there's some, quite a few people don't like using that track, so this will be a lot um, gentler, a lot smoother, yeah, easier on the horse's feet, and uh, yeah, through some beautiful bush. So um, that'll do it for this video. Uh, in the weekend, we, uh, or Sunday, Monday, a group of us, about 10 of us, went um, on a bit of a mission from East Kid Station up the south branch of the Huanui River up into... Um, the Pukitaraki Ranges and then down into Mount White, spent the night in the hut down there uh, at Cattle Creek and then climbed back up and then came out past Tan Hut in the Lees Valley. So got a wee bit of footage, um, SD card was a bit corrupt so I only managed to get a few, um, a bit of footage so I'll roll that now and uh, yeah the next video will be uh, way drafting some lambs hopefully off the Rafno and uh, sending them to the works to uh, yeah pay some bills. Right, enjoy this footage and we'll catch you in the next one. See you. Good to be up here with a view. Yeah, it's good to be able to see something. 
Which, yeah, this is awesome. So we've got Mount White over this side. Now that we've actually got a view. So that's the Esk River there. And then Lee Valley over this side. You can see through the gap over there. And one more hill to climb and then we're pretty well downward stretch. Bit of bush bashing coming up along that bridge through the saddle up into town hut. And then yeah, pretty much done.